Today, we're diving into the glamorous and intriguing world of tennis wives and girlfriends, otherwise known as tennis wags. From traveling the globe to building their own careers, these women are redefining what it means to stand by their partners. Let's get started. In this video, we'll explore how do tennis wags balance their own careers with the demands of the tour? What unique challenges do they face and how do they overcome them? How have they built a strong community and support system on the tour? Stick around as we go beyond the headlines to reveal the personal stories, struggles, and successes of these remarkable women. We'll share insights you won't find anywhere else. Imagine dealing with brutal rain delays while maintaining a glamorous image. That's life at the French Open for Morgan Riddle. Early at the French Open, the rain had been pouring non-stop. Morgan Riddle, who is dating U.S. tennis player Taylor Fritz, describes the weather as brutal. No matches were played the previous day due to the heavy rain. Morgan's Instagram stories capture the scene. Rain falling on the courts, paired with the song Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head, and a picture of the empty, wet courts covered in orange raincoats. These women are not just fans. They are integral to the tennis community these days, facing challenges like relentless rain while staying in the spotlight. How do you support a partner without losing your own identity? Ian Broomfield, who has been with Francis Tiafo for 10 years, understands the balance between supporting a partner and having her own identity. They met as junior players, but Ian had to step back due to an injury. Ian says, When I first started traveling with Francis, we would constantly talk about tennis and strategy, breaking down the game. Eventually, they had to tone it down because it became overwhelming. Our relationship isn't just about tennis and his results, she emphasizes. Their relationship is about finding a balance and making sacrifices, like stepping back due to injury, but staying involved. The term WAG often comes with a negative connotation, but these women are changing that. Morgan Riddle and Paige Lorenz, who dates Tommy Paul, discuss embracing the term and changing its meaning, Morgan says. I've always accepted it. As an English major, I know that words can change meaning over time and become negative. Because WAG is associated with women, people tend to look down on it. Supporting their partners doesn't diminish their worth. In fact, some WAGs have become more famous than the players themselves. Did you know that Paige Lawrence has more Instagram followers than her tennis star boyfriend? With 615,000 followers, her own brands Dairy Boy and American Charm, and features in Forbes, Paige is slaying in her lane. Similarly, Morgan Riddle has 290,000 Instagram followers and many brand partnerships, including a series called Wimbledon Threads, which she started last year with the Grand Slam. The New York Times even called her the most famous woman in men's tennis. These women are carving out their own paths and building successful careers alongside their partners. Traveling the world sounds glamorous, but it comes with its own set of challenges. The tennis year starts in Australia with the Open, then moves to California for Indian Wells. From there, it's on to Monaco for the Rolex Monte Carlo Masters, then to Madrid and Rome for the Opens, and finally to London for Wimbledon. And that's just up to July, halfway through the year. The season wraps up at Flushing Meadows in New York for the U.S. Open, which is Ian Broomfield's favorite tournament. The energy is unmatched, she says. 
A couple of years ago, Tiafo made it to the semifinals, and that changed everything. So it's always a special place for us. Plus, our anniversary falls around that time. So we spend it in New York every year. How do you maintain a relationship and a career in such a demanding environment? Since joining Cameron Norrie on the tennis tour, Luis Jacoby has had to change her approach to life. I used to be a huge planner, and I still love to plan, but it's impossible now, she explains. I get invited to weddings, but Cameron can't plan ahead because of his training and tournament schedule. He might be able to come at the last minute, but he's never been able to go to a wedding with me. Jacoby also finds it hard to have her own career. Unless you're an influencer, which isn't my thing, it's practically impossible, she says. A few years ago, Jacoby and Nori had to make a tough decision. I could have taken a big job in New York like I had before, but then I wouldn't see him much. And what's the point of being in a relationship if you can't be together? They decided to prioritize his career for now, even if it meant putting her own ambitions on hold. Ever wondered what it's like to be in the spotlight just for being a supportive partner? Even though Luis Jacoby doesn't seek out attention, the British press is very interested in her. As the girlfriend of the country's number one tennis player, Cameron Norrie, the cameras often find her in the crowds at Wimbledon. There are many articles titled, Who is Luis Jacoby? Trying to give people more information about her. It's definitely something I had to get used to, Luis says. I never thought I would be in this position. It just comes down to dating Cameron. And it's certainly fascinating. Unlike some of the other wags, Luis prefers friends over followers on Instagram. She only shares small glimpses of her life on tour, keeping most of her experiences private. Curious about how these wags met their tennis star partners? Given their constantly moving lives, where do you meet a professional tennis player? For Morgan Riddle, it was on a dating app, Raya. Paige Lawrence met Tommy Paul at the US Open. Ian Broomfield and Francis Tiafo were childhood sweethearts who grew up together. Luis Jacoby met Cameron Norrie through mutual friends in New York. Luis recalls, a friend who used to play tennis at university said, I know some guys playing in the US Open. Whenever they lose, would you be interested in going out that night and meeting some of them? And the rest, as they say, is history. I went into it with no expectations. I later found out that our friends wanted to introduce Cam and me to each other, so I think it was a planned introduction. How do tennis wags support each other in such a demanding environment? The girlfriends of tennis players have a strong community due to their unique lifestyles. It's very much a family affair on tour, with everyone's families, children, wives and girlfriends traveling together, says Luis Jacoby. The other weekend, I went to St. Trapez with David Goffin's wife. And when I was in Rome, I got drinks with Paige Lawrence and Nina Habai, Felix O'Shea alias Sim's girlfriend. I try to meet up and stay in touch with people whenever I can. Paige Lorenz agrees. I've honestly become close with so many different girls on tour, she says. We are all in such a unique sport and the schedule is so time consuming. From Roland Garros yesterday to Wimbledon tomorrow, the tennis wags have their own game to play. This summer, the focus on their off-court lives is just as exciting as the matches themselves. The ball is in their court and everyone is watching. From balancing personal and professional lives to building strong community bonds, tennis wags are much more than just supporters. They are entrepreneurs, influencers, and partners shaping their own paths while standing by their loved ones.